Hello and welcome to Archie Orangutan. Uh, today things are looking a little bit different. Um, it's just Archie and Suma here because they're really excited to show you this arts and craft idea uh, that they've done and created together. They've tried to use lots of things from the recycling and they've created a, a scene that they can change as well. So um, this one is especially um, for the story of how Suma and Archie met, uh, which if you haven't listened to that story clip uh, yet, I won't spoil the story for you, but all of these elements uh, sort of are similar to the scene um, where Suma ended up on a log in the river. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna put Suma and Archie down while I show you the elements of, of how this was done, but well done you two. I think you've done an amazing job. Uh, so first of all, um, we've, got a few animals that we've added ourselves but we've also made uh, an animal uh, we made this little picture um, of Suma on cardboard and then mounted on a little stick so that we can move her around in the scene depending where she goes or where she ends up in the story so that's Suma uh, we've also found an adult tiger so that's Suma's mum we found a baby elephant so she can move around in the water or even jump on the log um, and then we found a crocodile so a much bigger one really than our jock the croc but uh, that seemed like a good jungle animal to have um, now in the jungle as we know there are loads of big uh, plants so we made these out of green card and then we kind of folded them so that when they're stuck down they kind of look like they're really standing outside the picture so you could even have them over the edge like that when you stick them down so we made quite a few of these so they added all the foliage um, and then we created the vines i found some wool and we chopped those up with the scissors and then made them into the vines on the ground and the vines over the branches. We sort of mixed up the two colours we thought worked quite well, but it really doesn't matter. You could even colour up wool with paint or felt pen if you didn't have green and brown to do that. Uh, now the branches, but you can guess what that is. We found some cardboard boxes and then we used these pastel crayons, but you could just as easily use um, coloured pencils and we drew over the different colours that uh, we see on the branches in the jungle, greens, browns, uh, all sorts of different colours of things growing, mosses and lichen growing on the branches. So that was our branch canopy up the top there, but you could just as easily have branches at the side as well. So you've got to build and create your own jungle. So our branches, and then moving down towards the bottom, more cardboard that we used to make create the river bank on either side like that and then some plants that grow along the river bank especially if you were going to have a crocodile hiding you might have him hiding behind so that he's ready to pounce out and catch something and so that was just cut shapes like that so this was a steeper bank shape and that was the more shallow shallow bank like that and then we had the water so i just stuck with some help some sellotape those two bits together and then using scissors we made the surface of the water look a bit choppy and that's suma's little log so that was just a piece of cardboard we folded it around like that and then drew again on with the different coloured pastels. And this was the piece of paper. It started off looking like this. And then we made a wash of paint. So very watery. And then we got a sponge. You can get ones any size and you could even borrow a sponge from the kitchen. And then we painted that all over so that it covered it all over and then we had to leave it to dry. But before we did that, we used green and purple mixed together so that we could do the edge bit around the sides just to build up 
a darker surrounding with the lighter green in the center so that it ended up looking like that and then we put that outside to dry before we did any of the other bits so starting from the beginning i think the first thing we put on was the water like that then we added the river bank and you can glue these bits down as you go like that and then we put on our and this was this was good fun to do we had strips of paper could be white that you color and then we got scissors and we snipped all along there making these little bits that look like grass or reeds and then on the other side we got a felt pen and we added more bits so that it looked really even more and then we actually scrunched it a little bit to sort of make the bits stand out like that so that's our grass uh, next we had our leaves didn't we and I was saying that one of the quite useful things to do is to fold that in half and then when we got the scissors and we snipped like that when we opened it both sides were done both sides were the same so we can put those any old way to make your jungle and with them folded like this it makes the leaves stand out so place those around like that down the bottom that one like that okay so what's going to go on next do you think we'll try our branches now in this particular story there is a very low hanging branch which Coils and Archie use to rescue Suma. So on purpose I've done a branch that's going to come right quite low like that into the, towards the water. So once I've made my Archie puppet he's going to be able to dangle down into the river with Suma there and hopefully pull her up so you can come up with your own characters your own animals and add lots of other things but the thing to remember about jungles is they are really messy places there's loads of old branches everywhere there's vines everywhere and so the more you put on the better you could even go out into your garden and find real branches and create things with real twigs and real leaves and really make your jungle canopy look amazing and you can just keep adding it really doesn't matter you can change it you can glue some bits down but you could maybe leave some bits unglued so that you could move them around so maybe it's not always going to be a river scene okay so there we go that's basically the jungle and I don't think it looks too bad I think Archie and Suma have done a really good job so we're just going to add our animals back on now into our jungle but it would be great for you to have a go and just check before you take anything or do anything that your grown-ups in the house your mum and dad uh, know what you're doing and make sure all the things that you use uh, they've agreed that that's okay because some things they might be keeping uh, for a special reason so don't assume that it's rubbish and start chopping it up okay um, so the resources that we used for this on this occasion was the wool, was the scissors, I used my pastels which my son Hugo lent me and I used some felt tips and uh, I also used some coloured paper. Uh, but if I hadn't had coloured paper I could have painted it and let it dry or I could have actually just got my own uh, colouring pencils and uh, done it that way so really it's any way that you've got and with anything that you've got at home so I hope you enjoyed that I know Archie would love to see any pictures of your jungle scenes and hopefully you'll be tuning in later because uh, Archie and his friends are going to be having music time and they love to dance and we hope you do too so 
bye for now and thanks for watching. Say bye Archie!